Hello class, good morning. Our lesson for this week is converting from one metric unit to another metric unit of volume. So, is to start with the common basic units for measuring attributes of things are meter, gram, and liter. Meter is used for measuring length, gram is used for measuring mass, and liter is used to measure volume or capacity of an object. So, 1 liter is equivalent to 1,000 cubic centimeter. I repeat, 1 liter is equivalent to 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, volume is measured using cubic units. A cube that is 1 cm in length, 1 cm in width, and 1 cm in height measures 1 cubic centimeter. So, a cube that is 1 meter long, 1 meter wide, and 1 meter height measures 1 cubic meter. So, if the length, width, and height is 1, Therefore, in cubic um, centimeter, that is 1 also. So, let's take a look at these figures. So, 1 cubic decameter or decimeters is equal to 1 decimeters times 1 decimeters times 1 decimeters okay. is equal to 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter then 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, how come that it becomes 1,000 cubic centimeter? So, since 1 decimeter is equal to 10 centimeter, so from 1 decimeter, 10 centimeter, 1 decimeter, 10 centimeter, 1 decimeter, 10 centimeter, because 1 decimeter is equal to or equivalent to 10 centimeter so 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter is 1000 cubic centimeter and 1000 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 cubic decimeters So here, next is 1 meter is equivalent to 10 decimeters. 1 meter is equivalent to 10 decimeters. A while ago, 1 decimeter is equal to 10 centimeter. Now, 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeters. So let's convert. 1 cubic meter into cubic decimeter. So, 1 cubic meter. So, since this is 1 cubic meter, if we're going to write it, 1, one meter times 1 meter times 1 meter. But we will um, okay, directly change it to 10 decimeter times 10 decimeter times 10 decimeter the answer is 1,000 cubic decimeter. So, 1 cubic meter is equal to 1,000 cubic decimeter. Next, 1 decimeter is equal to 10 centimeter and 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So, let's convert 1 cubic meter into cubic centimeter. So, 1 cubic meter, it means that 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter, but we will directly um, convert it. 
So, since 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter is equal to 1 million cubic centimeter. So, when you say capacity, this describes how much liquid can a container holds. It is also describes the size of 3D figures. For example, um, a pail of okay, water. So, in one pail, how many glass of water? Okay? How many glass of water is the capacity of one pin so that is capacity the basic unit of capacity is the metric system in liter the basic units measurement used for measuring capacity are milliliters and liters and the other units are centiliter and kiloliter so here for milliliter ml thousand or 0 0.001 liter next is centiliter cl 100 or 0 0.01 liter liter is one one liter kiloliter thousand one thousand liter so those are um the conversion so 1 milliliter is equal to 0 0.01 liter. 1 centiliter is equal to 0 0.01 liter. 1 liter is equal to 1 liter. 1 kiloliter is equal to 1,000 liter. So another, a cubic, cent a cubic centimeter or 1 cubic centimeter can hold 1 ml. 1 cubic centimeter can hold 1 ml. Then also, 1 cubic meter, meter. So, 1 cubic meter can hold 1,000 liter and 1 liter can hold 1,000 milliliter. I will repeat. 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 ml. 1 cubic meter is equal to 1,000 liter. And 1 liter is equal to 1,000 ml. So this one is, since its height is 1 centimeter, width is 1 centimeter, length is 1 centimeter, then this feature is, the volume is 1 cubic centimeter. So, converting is changing a measurement from one unit of measure to another unit. So, when you convert from a smaller unit to larger unit, then you will divide. Then, when you convert from larger unit to a smaller unit, then you will multiply. For example, liter to ml. So, you will multiply. But if you will com convert liter to kiloliter, then you will divide. So, the first example is change 0 0.5 cubic meter to cubic centimeter. So, We've learned from the previous example that okay, 1 cubic meter is equal to 1 million cubic centimeter. Okay, 1 cubic meter is equal to 1 million cubic centimeter. So what are we going to do to get or to convert it into cubic centimeter? So 0 0.5 cubic meter times 1 million cubic centimeter divided by cubic meter or simply multiply 0 0.05 
to 1000 cubic centimeter, then you will get it as 500 cubic centimeter. So simply divide because you are converting um, larger unit to a smaller or simply multiply because you are converting larger unit to a smaller unit from cubic meter to cubic centimeter and cubic centimeter is smaller than cubic meter next is change 1500 ml to liter so ml is smaller than liter so we will divide in one liter there is 1000 ml so to get or to change it into liter then divide 1500 into 1000 why because one liter is equal to 1000 millimeter so 1500 divided by 1000 then that would be 1.5 liter or one and a half liter Example number three is change cubic meter to ml. So how can we change cubic meter into ml or cubic centimeter into ml? So this one is centimeter, not meter. Cubic centimeter to ml. So in our previous um, slide, It shows here that 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 ml. 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 ml. So in this case, there is 25 cubic centimeter. So it means that you will just multiply it or you will copy because 1 cubic centimeter this is cubic centimeter. 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 ml. So, cubic centimeter is equal to ml. So, 1 ml or 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 ml. So, just multiply 25 times 1, 25 ml. Example number 5, change 73 kiloliter to 1.5 okay, to deciliter. So, KL is kiloliter, DAL is for deciliter. So, since this is, this is larger to smaller, then multiply. So, in 1 kiloliter, there is 1000 decaliter in 1 kiloliter there is 1000 decaliter so 73 kiloliter times 100 decaliter okay that is 7300 decaliter so in 73 kiloliter there is 7300 decaliter so next is change 28 decaliter to liter so from so from a small So, from um, a smaller unit to bigger unit. So, in this one, since in 10 deciliter, there is 1 liter. So, this means that we will going to divide. So, 28 decaliter times 1 liter, 
divided by 10 or 28 times 1 is 28 divided by 10 that is 2.8 liter so this is converting um, a smaller unit to bigger unit 